heart of Johannesburg lies the pristine and thriving campus of King Edward's School. Founded in 1902, the school was established for English-speaking white boys. Today, it is an example of a truly integrated and flourishing center of education for all boys. We now have uh, boys from all walks of life, um, all races, cultures. That is the strength of the school. The boys have uh, embraced that and, and very proud of the fact that uh, we are now what one would call a true South African school. And uh, from King Edwards, I, I think you prepared for life. Coming from different schools before I came to Kes, there's something just so different about the guys here. We're seen as a brotherhood. In anything that we do, we're always together and we, we're working together. We pull together, we strive to achieve. Just like um, School Emblem says, train you. So we put effort in whatever we do. A walk around the King Edwards campus will reveal facilities that are second to none. A great deal of money is invested in the academic side of the school, and that, together with what is offered on the sports field and in the cultural sphere, make the school a centre for excellence. It is a school many aspire to be like, and thus they continue to lead and set the tone for others. The school is very fortunate to be able to attract and retain top, outstanding educators. There is a good balance of traditional subject specialists and role models with a large percentage of male staff. In a school with 1,100 boys, these male role models are essential and contribute significantly to the overall success of the school. Personally, I came from a background where I haven't been given, given opportunities that much. So coming to the school has really opened the doorway to, to new opportunities, to new goals, especially with my cricket. I think Kez has just given me the platform to just go out there and, and be myself. Every, every single part of the school helps in some way. The, the teachers, the um, uh, sports coaches all help to build you up as a person and that sense of brotherhood. King Edwards is a public or government school that is subsidised by the state. However, the state subsidy is less than 1% of the operational budget. Thus, it is the fee-paying parents, together with outside funders and donors, who provide for this fantastic all-round education. This school is clearly all about the boys. A King Edwards boy is characterised by his passion and spirit, his desire to succeed and his protection of the weak, but above all, his respect. They have a respect for each other, for the seniors and staff, and most importantly, they have a self-respect which sets these boys apart from any others. To be part of a great school like King Edwards has made me something of which I am very proud. You just have that confidence in your abilities and it's, it's just amazing how they can instill that confidence in you. There's something very special about a King Edwards boy and once he arrives at the school he buys in to the spirit. There's an absolute passion and you don't only have the boys but we have the parents who are huge supporters of the school. At every sporting fixture, they wear red tops and red tracksuits, and they are uh, known as the Red Army. And uh, any school we play against will comment about that support. The school is for now, but Red is forever. The case for it is, is, is something you cannot describe for me. I'll be a very proud King Edward old boy, and I'm sure that I'll be here every Saturday at the rugby fixtures, sporting fixtures, and supporting my old school. The boy who leaves King Edwards is proud of his school, what it stood for and what he learned there. The boys who have moved through King Edwards succeed in life, and the school has produced many esteemed old boys, including sportsmen like Gary Player, Graham Smith and Brian Habana, entrepreneurs Sir Donald Gordon and Sir Mark Weinberg, cabinet ministers Derek Keyes and Ronnie Caswells, in the law field Sir Sidney Kentridge, Richard Goldstone and Johan Krichler, artists William Kentridge and Bill Ainsley, as well as many prominent leaders in business. Many of those old boys, when they look back on their school days, uh, will tell you that they wouldn't have reached uh, those heights if it wasn't for the grounding they received at school. I'm currently the sixth Jans von Rensburg to come to Kez. Um, I've had a few uncles and uh, cousins which have come here and we're all very, very proud Kez boys. I'm proud to be here because I'm the first one from our family no one from my family has been a kids boy before. Um, I'm the first one and I think 
that's like a milestone for me. Everyone at the school works as hard as they can to achieve their utmost so that one day they can contribute to this great school. The facilities on offer at King Edwards, most notably those that have been upgraded in recent years, have all been made possible through fundraising, the assistance of old boys and the broader King Edwards community. And if we want to ensure that King Edwards remains at the top, a leader in edu education in the country, then we have to ensure that we are funding the school from outside. We need to make sure that uh, corporates, uh, old boys and others uh, believe in what we're offering at the school uh, and buy into it uh, and invest in public school education in this country. Most of our old boys would understand how important it is to support a school such as ours. So we find their support. If it's not financial, uh, it's in other ways, absolutely huge. I'm going to do my utmost to keep the school the way it is now. I do see myself returning to Kez as an old boy. I'll, I would like to also come and give back to the school, come and coach and do a few lessons. The school has given so much to me and has built me up so much that it would be terrible, it would be an absolute tragedy if I didn't give something back. King Edward's school has been offering a brilliant all-round education to some of South Africa's finest boys for over 100 years. With continued support, they will continue to do so for the next hundred years, providing our country with new leaders, thinkers and role models. This country will survive and will flourish if we have a sound education system, if we are educating leaders. And it's critical that we have boys coming through this system that can't afford school fees at independent schools. And leaders of tomorrow are boys that are going through King Edwards, not necessarily through the independent school system. And those standards have to be maintained. And it's schools like ours that will maintain those standards. And that's what this country is built on.